Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can easily um, set up Wolfi Keylogger. It's very, very easy. Now that you have downloaded the software, you just double click the application and the control window will appear. And now, oh, excuse me, now you can um, choose the settings. Uh, the, uh, the first setting is start with Windows. This is a Windows startup uh, choice that you have. So if you want that Wolf IQ logger um, is hiddenly run every time that the computer is, is turned on, then you enable this um, this box here. If you unable it, then um, the Wolf IQ logger will not start with Windows startup. That's how easy it is. Record keystrokes, of course, that means that we want to record the keystrokes. Capture screen. This, these are keystrokes that the software will make. And you can um, set here the, the interval in minutes. Uh, so for, for example, if you enter here one, this means that every minute the software will make a screenshot. Okay. I recommend choosing something like three or five, but for testing purposes, I will set the one and you enable it. Send data to email. If you don't want to receive uh, the data to your email, you just unclick this box. But if you want to receive it to the email, you have to enter the correct uh, email settings. Okay. And that's what we're gonna do. I will show you the correct email settings using Google email. Okay, you might want to also use Google email because um, for the email sending to work, you first must enable something in your email account. I will show it to you. This is the first thing that you must do. So I will show it to you in the case of Google mail. Okay, I use my email address wolfi.us at gmail.com. So the first thing that you do is you log into your uh, Google Mail account of this email address. Yeah, that's what I did. And you, after you have logged in, yeah, you must open a Google Settings website. Uh, I always forget the Google Settings website URL, so that's why you can go to our website, click on tutorial and scroll down, scroll down. So after you have uh, logged into your email account, this is the URL that I'm talking about. It's google.com.settings, uh, no, excuse me, google.com slash settings slash security slash less secure apps. Okay. I, d I click here. And then I come to the Google settings for less secure apps. And I, ha I the only thing I must do, I, I have to enable this. That's it. That's it. Okay. After I have enabled this feature, I get an email. Yeah. And I just can ignore this email. <laughs> I see. Okay. Now I can test the email setting. Okay, the SMTP server name is smtp.gmail.com. The port number is, for example, 25 or 465. And this is the password to that email account. Okay, I actually forgot my password. Um, um, I must. Let me test it. Okay, that was the, the wrong password. Then the next password. Ah, okay. Okay, that was the correct password. Excuse me. Okay, email sent successfully, and I received an email. This is the email from uh, of the test email. Wolfi software notification. Yeah, Wolfi software test mail has been sent. Perfect. Uh, and uh, the last setting that you must do is uh, send log file uh, when log file size reaches. This is when will the keystroke log file will be sent to your email because the, the keylogger works like this. Um, every time the log file reaches a certain uh, size, 
then the email is sent to your account uh, to your email yeah so i will give i will for testing purposes i will enter here a one uh, the size that you choose depends on the use of usage of the computer if someone writes a lot of text you might want to use uh, five kilobytes because else you would receive a lot of emails and if someone only uses the computer for surfing in the web you might want to use one kilobyte i use one kilobyte and now you can just run the software by hitting the start button you know that the uh, software is, is is monitoring the computer when this button turns red and to make the window disappear you just close it by hitting this 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 windows x here you just close it it disappears but continues to run in the background yeah so now we can type in some text yeah i can oh wait i can i don't know go to let's say um instagram for example or facebook uh, yeah, or, or let's say, if, if, I don't know, Facebook or GMX. No, no wait. Yeah. Or you might want to go to Facebook. So the text that I'm writing here is being monitored. Yeah, GMX. Yeah. And if you log into your account, yeah, example at gmx.com or .de and the password my secret password yes login that was not the correct password yeah and so on and i already received an email with a keystroke you see if i open i see the screenshot of a keystroke but we also want to receive the keystrokes yeah for that, I must type in more text. Yeah. Um, I can open a text editor yeah, and type in a lot of text. Yeah. And you will see that when, when I type enough text so that the log file re reaches one kilobyte, I will receive another email. And I already received it. So I go to my email and I received the keystrokes. I go to the email and that's the keystroke report that I just entered. Okay, it's a net HTML uh, report um, with colors so that you can easily go to the. And here's the password that I entered. Here's the Gmail.de, uh, and everything that I entered has been recorded.